Today, we are adding color to an embossing folder three different ways. You don't need to tell me what's your favorite, but I said, is this just awesome? Get more out of your embossing folders for sure. So we are using, it is the last, the 12 weeks of Christmas. So make sure you go back, there'll be a link at the end if you've missed any, because you know all of these ideas work not just for Christmas. They're really just, um, just fun idea. So for this, we are using the Merriest Moments bundle. So we have the stamp set and I just used words from there. Let me set that aside. And then the embossing folder for this is a hybrid thing. We have both the background kind of thing and then all kinds of interesting dies. For the three cards I'm sharing today, we are using this. So first card sec has gone through here. And we've got an impression, and then I've cut it out with this out of the car sack. So hopefully that makes sense. We're not going to actually do that part. We're just going to work with the finished projects here. And the very first one we're going to do, I absolutely love this. Is this just stunning? Now, I look at this. I could see this as a gorgeous wedding card, anniversary card, all kinds of things. So don't just think Christmas. You know, I... I think this is just absolutely gorgeous. This is made with the silver foil specialty papers. They come in a set like this. They're all silver, but two of the three colors have kind of a pur purpley tint to it. So it's kind of a purple silver. That's what I'm using. But experiment with all kinds of papers. So I first run it through. And this by itself would also be beautiful. I'm just going to put that on. See, that is gorgeous by itself. So we're just in the land of possibilities where we crafters love to dwell. <laughs> I just love to get this look. The only thing that's changed is I've taken a very fine sanding block. I am thinking an emery board would work. And watch this as I start sanding away. How cool is that? That is what's bringing the white out. This makes me think of an antiquing look. And of course, I'm making these videos really short. These are just kind of fun technique videos. So you can just see that how that can be completed. So there's idea number one, and I absolutely love that. Okay, the next one we're doing is going to be this card. This to me looks, this particular one looks very rustic. Now I could get by using different colors, you know, here we're using a kind of almost looks like a barn wood because we're using crumb cake. I could use this in soft succulent or another lovely color, color and we would get a totally different look. So experiment. I also want to point out on this one, you'll see I put this die, which is in part of the thing on top here. This one, I cut it out of this. So it's like a popped up frame and then stamped the words in there. So for doing this, this has been done the very same way. This time to add the color, we, I'm going to take soft suede. This is crumb cake cardstock, and I'm going to use a soft suede. But of course, we need a lot of variety with the blending brush, and I'm just going to blend. And I'm going to have it pretty dark, so I'm just going to dot it once there, and then I'm going to pull from off of here onto the color here, and that'll just kind of help prevent any big splotches. I want those splotches of color on my scrap paper, not on my card. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> And I thought, how cool is this? And of course, I can add as much or as little as possible for that. I'm only going to do part of that. But look what an accent that is making. I think it's just so fun to do all kinds of things with one, one set of dies. And then this was cut out. And see this, I added quite a bit of color. Now this one's going to be a softer look. So it's kind of whatever you want something to be. I just love, love that. And then our last one. I think this is really a cool look too. Done this the same, but you'll see the color is in the recessed part. So what's different about this one is that I've taken this die folder and crumb cake. And I'm putting this on the inside. Now, I really should use my scrap paper here, I think. <laughs> I will put this back up. Now look, by just putting this all around, I am adding my ink. And you see the color in there? And then I am going to add 
my paper in here, I'm gonna run that through. And this is the color that gets out. So if you notice, there the color is inside where it's been embossed. Here, it's put on the top side. And back here, we sanded off some color. So three fun ideas. So check out these other videos here and let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.